the state of the nation, if I should talk to you on what I suggest, what we need in Nigeria now is an ego president. P2B can never give you bribe. Yes, sir. He will not if you give you money to eat food. Mm. He's the only man that told them for them back up. I won't give you money. Support the person you want to vote for. Be passionate about the person. Now, who are you to vote for? That's a big question. First of all, vote for competence. Muslim, Muslim, in both the parties, we should not be afraid to vote one vote. Yeah. Now, trouble, I don't need to look for. <laughs> but I don't care. If they are not afraid to make PDP Muslim, APC Muslim, let us not be afraid to say we are Christians. It's a, it's a total disrespect of Christians. It's very clear that when the wicked rule, the people mourn. I shouted this in 2015. I'm not a propagandist. I'm not a public speaker. I'm not an activist. I'm a prophet. You blindly went in and brought this wicked government. For welcome back to Plan B TV News. We're going to be giving you a compilation of different clergy men from Nigeria who have reacted differently to these presidential elections that are coming 2023. Apostle John Sisuleman has declared his support for the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. The outspoken clergy man has made his preference candidate known ahead of 2023 presidential elections on his Facebook page. Meanwhile, his followers who supported the presidential aspirations of Obi has hailed him for his choice of candidate. The state of the nation, if I should talk to you on what I suggest, what we need in Nigeria now is an ego president. The general overseers of Omega Fire Ministries International, Apostle John Sisuleman, has suddenly announced the names of his preference presidential candidates declaring my shoes to show his endorsement for the Labour Party presidential candidates on his Facebook page when he simply wrote Peter Obi. This has subsequently attracted reactions from many of his followers who praise him for taking a bold step. Details in the video. If I should talk to you on what I suggest, what we need in Nigeria now is an ego president. An Igbo president. You want to create a job for youths? Get an Igbo president. The Igbo man by nature knows how to do business. So if he adds academic to it, he will know how to create jobs. Having watched that video, what is your take about what Apostle Justice Suleiman said? So I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. Because it's going to determine your future. So how you vote will determine how you're going to live in the next four years before you also make another decision either to revote or vote out the next president. So I want you guys to listen to this clergy man who advises his congregations regardless to politics in Nigeria using a political thief and a normal thief to illustrate his opinions regardless to politics in Nigeria. This is in the video. What is the difference between the ordinary thief? And a political thief. Number one, the ordinary thief steals your money, your bag, your watch, and your jewelry, isn't it? But the political thief steals your future, your career, your education, your health, and your business. Number two, the hilarious part is that the ordinary thief will choose whom to rob. But you are the one who choose the political thief to rob you. Because we choose them. We vote them. We blindly say we are not blind. Who is deceiving who? The ridiculous part of the whole issue is that we will fight to defend and protect our belongings from the ordinary thief. Is it not? But we fight each other to defend and protect the political thief. A clergy lady, Sarah Omako, have decided to address her congregations regardless to these same elections. In her whole point of view, she said APC is bringing out a presidential candidate which is a Muslim and PDP on the other hand is also bringing out a presidential candidate which is a Muslim. And she went on to address the congregation saying that this is a total slap on the Christian face. 
For this reason, she advises a congregation that they will vote for a party that is not West structures. I believe that she was referring to Peter Obi. I wouldn't want to say much about it. I want you guys to watch this video with me. Muslim, Muslim in both the parties, we should not be afraid to vote one vote. In her trouble, I don't look for. But I don't care. If they are not afraid to make PDP Muslim, APC Muslim, let us not be afraid to say we are Christians. It's a, it's a total disrespect of Christians. It's a total disregard for Christians, and we will not take it. And therefore, you are going to get your PVC. You are going to get your PVC, and we are going to waste our votes. That candidate that they say doesn't have structure, we are going to be structurelessly... Structure has not helped us. Structure has not helped us. Structure has taken away power from us. Structure does not have electricity. Structure is killing people. Structure has left us jobless. Structure has killed us. So we will be structureless. And we shall waste our votes. The body of Christ. And at this point, when I say the body of Christ, I mean Cherubim and Seraphim, Celestial Church of Christ. Anybody that names the name of Jesus Christ. Catholic, Baptist, Pentecostal, Pentirascal, Pente anything. All of us. We shall cast structureless votes. We shall waste our votes. Somebody say amen. Amen. And turn to your neighbor and say, Sila. If we go home now, we have had church, isn't it? Yes. You understand where you are voting? Yes. Wherever there is structure, don't vote. <laughs> Any party that has structure. This is the first democratic elections that Nigerians are fully involved with because they felt that they have had it enough. What is your point about what she just said? Do you believe in what she said? Do you buy the ideas of her own point of view? If you believe or not, I want to hear from you guys in the comment sections. The founder of Muna Chappelle was not also left out in these conversations regardless to politics. In this word, he said, it is not more clear that when the wicked rules, the people mourn. I want you guys to also watch the way he addresses his congregation regardless to how the politics has been playing out, especially since the era of President Muhammad Dubuari in date. And this is what he has to say regardless to politics in Nigeria. It's very clear that when the wicked rule, the people mourn. I shouted this in 2015. I'm not a propagandist. I'm not a public speaker. I'm not an activist. I'm a prophet. You blindly went in and brought this wicked government. Nigeria has never suffered evil like this in our history. And they still want to rule? Never. Mapatu Seke, Ekoto Prekedo, Sheshikaratatako, Mepiaka. Well, let me stop there for them this morning, but I know the God I serve. And I know the church is his beloved. And you told the church, you told the above his eye. Whatever you now see is what you choose it. But I know this God. No. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. He will scatter them. This God will scatter them. Now, who are you to vote for? That's a big question. First of all, vote for competence vote for delivery who is it that can competently lead this nation who are the ones who can bring us out of mess out of riots out of killings out of corruption find out but get your card ready we vote for competence number two we vote in defense of the faith the faith 
you know how much the church has suffered the last eight years killings upon killing killings in plateau killings in taraba killings in benue and largely in christian communities killings now gone to the south in ondo state and several other places where people are being killed silently without us knowing vote in defense of the faith vote only for people who can defend our faith and what more vote for individuals who care for other ethnic groups and not focusing only on Fulanese. hear it very clearly all the ones who have been killing people have you heard that any of them was was arrested no you won't hear that you won't hear that you won't hear that how many officials went to a war to go and sympathize with the community where they kill people let's be wise if anybody tells you now that there is no religion in politics in this country they are deceiving you so bring out your faith don't hide it that you are voting for your faith don't hide it say tomorrow i will vote for my faith i will vote for my faith I won't vote for somebody who will slaughter me. I will vote for my faith. Amen. Vote for your faith. Vote for your faith. In states where we have we have domination of Christians and they have been Trump trampled under feet. It's not acceptable. Look at Nazareth State, for instance, largely populated by Christians. How many commissioners do you have? How many commissioners do you have? Why do you think that a Christian should not be a governor in this state? Why? Why? Why are you calling others minority group when they are not minority? Why do you think that you cannot have a Christian Muslim candidate in a party? I don't belong to any party politically, but I have political sense. Why do you think so? You mean all the Christians in the north are daft and dummies? No. They are not. They are not. They are not. And I hope the Christians in such parties will come to their senses and decide what to do. I'm not politically speaking, but I'm telling you the scriptural truth. Where you hear them say, don't vote for Harinin, Arewa, and don't vote for Nyamiri. They said that in the open. And everybody is quiet. Is it not the same Nigeria we call ourselves? As the country divided? So why don't you allow everybody to have participation and you know, opportunities? There is no ethnic group that is superior to the other. Not in this Nigeria. If you place it on merit and intelligence, you know the difference now. You know the difference you know the difference let the church wake up 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 a voice a word is enough for the wise further details will be communicated as time goes on but go and get your card go and get your card that's where the journey begins from you are blessed in i believe that this is the first time i'm seeing all clergy men speaking in one voice except that of uh reverend father obaka most of them have already realized their mistake and indirectly or directly they are advising their congregations that they should wake up and get their pvc to vote for the rightful person you know the nigerian pastors or clergymen entirely have not been fully involved in politics or rather than they just believe that let's pray to god and let god do or does his own things but now they realize that God not just work without my heart. So I believe now they are fully involved. So without also wasting much of your time. Can I advise you, don't lose one of your friends because of politics. You will pay for it. You are obedient. Now you are You are gigantic. You want this to continue. Now you are You are articulated. Free enterprise. Be passionate about it. But don't lose your friends in such people because of that. Obi. It's not the enemy of Atiku. Tinubu is not the enemy of Atiku. Tinubu and Atiku were following Yahadwa together 1989 to 1992. They are in the same camp.
scam. They are not against each other. It is only people that don't know what it means that are fighting one another because of them. The people that will help you in the future are on your social media. Support the person you want to vote for. Be passionate about the person. Do everything you want to do for the person. But don't insult any other person and lose friendship because of that. I want you guys to watch this particular clergyman who advises his congregations regardless to the upcoming elections. P2B can never give you bribe. Yes, sir. He will not if you give you money to eat food. Mm. He's the only man that told them for them back up. I won't give you money. That's right. A bold and fearless man. Yes, sir. He has something upstairs. Yes, sir. I have never spoken anything about governor or president in my life to vote. Yes, sir. But I'm here to tell you, never you kill your, your destiny by collecting 20,000, 10,000 again. Both the Northerners hearing me, one, me, I've, I'll keep on saying it, if you are wise, know what to do. I never see Peter be in my life before. I don't know him. That's true, sir. And I don't want to know him. But I listen to his speech. It is with me. Uh, and I see hope in his mouth. Peter B is the right man. That's yes, right. Sir. You allow anybody to deceive you. Don't be afraid. Don't leave your house for anything. Don't allow people to put fear in you. You say, they don't come, they don't come. You go run. Don't run anywhere. If people can say, if they kill you, they will go heaven. Even us, it's there for us. Say, blessed are you when they persecute you. For the kingdom is heaven. What the persecution? Will it be there the persecution without you fighting? That means if they persecute you and you fight and you die, you go to heaven. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. I hear you, sir. They put fear into us. If you are a coward, you can't make heaven. That's right. So in this 2023 election, never you run anywhere. Look up here. I am not saying this because I'm from the east. Look up here. Combine Tinibu, combine with uh, Atiku. They are all old, old cargoes. Yes, sir. Whether you like it or not, I am a seer. Labor Party. Whether you like it or not. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whether you like it or not. Yes, Whether sir. you like it or not. Yes, sir. Hey. We are tired of people. That's right. Frustrating the Easterners. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Northerners. Yes, sir. The Westerners. Yes, sir. And the Westerners. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am not saying this. See you to where they kill, kill us for targets. Now, the youth in the campaign. Bola Jinubu, Bola Tinibu. Person where they say they no kill you now. Because of small, small, 10, 10, 000 to drink Ibo. After the Ibo clear, you must suffer for more eight years. I don't need to talk much. I'm a prophet. I must speak the truth. If you like, you don't like. If you like, don't vote for. Uh, Peter B is a trillionaire. Rita Bai, if you like, even though the election man, me, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, me, I'm not depending on Nigeria in Arwana. I'm only concerned as a prophet telling people what to help you. My member, if you like, make una go carry on a, on a PVC. If you like, sit at home, they make noise. Now your power. If they do gragra that day, when they come, they won't steal bona, bo, stay there. Leave them there. Una go see him. I don't make, you know me, daddy. I don't make mouths. Please, that day, comment your talk, please. My PVC card, I don't know where it is. My son, you help me. Check around here. Where did they? Don't forget. So that make to I go tomorrow. Then. Make I go queue for line. I will go please tomorrow. Come and carry me. Comment. Share that day, when I go see me, I don't security. I don't owe anybody. I go go put my vlog paper. If I they put them, I go swear. Say God, anybody will carry my own card. Thunder from heaven, kill his generation. 
Well, on the other hand, Bishop Kuka also said during a Channel TV interview said that President Muhammad Buhari have been a disaster in the management of our diversity. So I want you guys to watch this video along with me. I need to finish. I say, okay, come, let's talk. We finish talking. Hopefully, he can finish the project. But this is a country where so so you finish. So what? Is there anybody in the Ministry of Science and Technology or somewhere else ready? Is there a place where you can say there is an institution incubating the intelligence and the talent of young people and ready to deploy them to other places? This place is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a talent killer. It is. And you cannot treat young people like this and think you have a future. It's not possible. So the contestation, the gyration, the, the, the volatility will persist. We may conduct elections, we'll go through the motions. But we're not expecting because the people that have the mental capacity, because I mean, this is the only country where, ask yourself, what are the qualifications that people bring to the table? Papers are the last thing. So people are coming, just like you rightly say, we want to be president because it's our right, it's our turn. But it's not our turn to do good. It's our turn to make up for the marginalization of our people. So when you hear me, and the things I've said against this president are two, and I've stood by them. I have a lot of respect for him. But he has been a disaster in the area of managing diversity and the blatant nepotism. It's not accepted. It's, more, it's morally reprehensible. And I only stand to be corrected. It's not a question of are the things I'm saying true or not true. Because I'm insisting that whoever becomes president of Nigeria today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, they will hear from me if they are not doing the right thing. So it's got nothing personal because I'm saying I have seen where people have managed diversity well. I have seen where, why is it that now, after France won the World Cup, is there any football team now in the, in the world that you don't see black people? Even the World Cup, Germany had to put in a black man at the last, uh, last minute. Nine, over 90% of ordinary Nigerians just want to be left to do. They don't, they're not, I, I think we have oversubscribed in terms of what government has the capacity to do. Because beyond electing a man from your village, after the election, you won't see him again. So, and there is no, 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 nothing to suggest that the people from the president's town are necessarily benefiting Please, God, come your people, talk, Except please. of recent, where some people have on their own carried projects to Daora. And I'm not sure don't that don't the president necessarily asked them to do that. Uh -huh. But short of that, comments. we're still struggling to decrease. get to Mina. Mina has given us two former heads of state. If you go to Jonathan's hometown, it's not, there, it's not as if you can drive with your eyes closed. Okay, if you go to, I've been to Shagari, where President Shagari came from. And I've not been to Obasanjo's hometown, but if, when I met Obasanjo first time, he was talking to me, he said to me, I, I swear, I'm sure your village is better than my own. But things may have changed now. But I'm just saying that Let's look for the, the government to create a space that all of us can flower in. Because government can never employ everybody. In the 90 country we are, we are blind to the sins of the flesh. And the sins of the flesh are what produce ethnicity. This toxicity that you define somebody standing before you, not as a child of God. But you define somebody not because of, the, of his capacity, but you give him a front seat. Because you speak the same language, because it's from your town, because you worship in the same mosque or the same church. At that point, we're not serving God. So for me, these are the issues, not, not uh, nothing personal. Have you listened to what he said? What is your own opinion about all this video? I want to hear from you in the comment section. Okay, this is where we're going to be ending the video today. If it is the first time of coming across our video, please do take a moment of your time. So subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's a lot of amazing video waiting for you. If you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you'll be among the first person to get notified anytime we upload a new video. For all our returning subscribers, may God continue to bless you and grant you all your good heart's desire for always coming to support the growth of this channel. I appreciate you all. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and comment your thoughts regardless to all the clergy men what they have said in the comment section. I'll be reading your comment and I'll be glad to respond to you if it's needful. All right, until we meet again, stay tuned with Plan B TV. Peace out. Family, don't forget to subscribe, to get notified. And I see the show your support. Now, second, God bless you too. Dance on the bed.